Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us quickly look at some of the questions where we will see some applications of expressions and also finding out the values of expressions. Question number one, if z is equal to 10, find the value of z cube minus 3 into z minus 10. So z cube is z into z into z minus 3 into z minus 10. So let's replace z with 10. So this would be 10 into 10 into 10 minus 3 into 10 minus 10. So what would be 10 minus 10? 0 and 0 into 3 would be 0. And what would be 10 into 10 into 10? That would be 1000. So 1000 would be the answer. Question number 2. What should be the value of a if the value of 2x square plus x minus a is equal to 5 when x is equal to 0. So that means if you put x is equal to 0, so what will happen? 2 into 0 plus 0 minus a is equal to 5, right? So 2 into 0 would be 0. So 0 plus 0 minus a is equal to 5. So 0 plus 0 would be 0. So minus a is equal to 5. Therefore a is equal to minus 5. Question number 3. Simplify the expression and find its value when a is equal to b. Uh, a is equal and find its value when a is equal to 5 and b is equal to minus 3. So look at this expression. It is 2 into a square plus ab plus 3 minus ab. So in order to simplify this, let us first open it out from the brackets. So 2 into a square will be 2a square plus 2 into ab would be 2ab plus 3 minus ab. So let's collect the like terms together. So 2a square plus 2ab minus ab because both of these are like terms. Both of them have the same algebraic factor which is ab plus 3. So 2ab minus ab will be equal to ab because 2 minus 1 is 1. So plus ab plus 3. So now this would mean 2 into a into a plus a into b plus 3. Now let's put the value of a. The value of a is given as 5. So 2 into 5 into 5 plus 5 into b is minus 3. So 5 into minus 3 plus 3. So 2 5s are 10, 10 5s are 50, 5 3s are 15. So this is minus 15 plus 3. So 50 plus 3 would be 53 minus 15, so 53 minus 15 would be 38. So 38 would be the value of this expression. Question number 4. Use the given algebraic expression to complete the table of number patterns. So here if you look at this table, it, it shows a number pattern. So you see you have an expression which is 2n minus 1. So if this is the expression, now as the value of n changes, you get different terms. For example, when n is equal to 1, the first term is 1. When n is equal to 2, the second term is 3. Now when you look at this pattern, it follows a specific pattern that is 1, you leave 2, you come 3, 4, again 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. So it, it follows a specific pattern. So we have to find out these blank, fill these blank spaces based on this pattern. So how will we know the pattern looking at this expression? Okay, so now looking at this expression, let us first try to fill this blank. So in this blank, we have to find out the fifth term. So in order to find out the fifth term, we will make use of this expression. So what we will do, we will put n is equal to 5 in this expression, n square plus 1. So what do we get? n square plus 1 would be n into n plus 1, which is equal to 5 into 5 plus 1. That is 25 plus 1, which is 26. Therefore, this blank would be 26. Now let us look at this term. It is the 10th term for this. That means you will put n is equal to 10 in the expression n square plus 1. So this would be n into n plus 1 which is 10 into 10 plus 1. So 10 into 10 is 100 
plus 1 which is equal to 101. Therefore, the value here would be 101. Now, let us look at the third blank which is the 100th digit, 100th number for this particular expression. So, in this case, we will put n is equal to 100 in the expression 2n minus 1. So, this would be 2 into n minus 1 which is 2 into 100 minus 1. So, 200 minus 1 that is equal to 199. So, here this would be 199. Now, did you realize why did we put n is equal to 100 to find the 100th term? Because when you look at this pattern, you see that to find the first term, you put n is equal to 1. So, if you put n is equal to 1, the value of this expression is 1. If you put n is equal to 2, the value of this expression is 3. So, we get an idea that to find the first term, we put n is equal to 1. To find the second term, we put n is equal to 2. To find the third term, we put n is equal to 3. Therefore, to find the 100th term, we will put n is equal to 100. So, with that logic, we have put the value of n as 100. So, we make use of this logic and that is how we, uh, you know, we build number patterns. So I hope this lesson on uh, algebraic expressions would have helped you and uh, I expect you to practice more and more question so that you can build your confidence and you can build your concepts better. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.